Phone quotes, estimates, and repair orders. How are they different? In this video, we're going to review the main differences and how we use them. Let's start with a phone quote. Phone quotes are intended to be a quick and easy way to provide pricing to a customer who is calling your shop. You don't need the customer or vehicle information. However, if the customer does decide to move forward, you can easily convert the phone quote to a repair order and link it to the customer and vehicle. To begin, simply select phone quote from the top section of the main page of our writer. You can enter as much or as little information about the customer or vehicle. However, we recommend capturing at least the customer's name and phone number along with the vehicle, year, make, and model. If you use SmartyCat, having the vehicle information will make it easier to source any required items. Now, add the items needed to the quote, and when done, provide the customer with the estimate, all while you still have them on the phone. As you can see, the quote can be created with minimal information from the customer. If the quote is not converted to an estimate or repair order, it will not be saved to the customer's history. To keep your Estimates in Progress screen clean, our writer can be configured to automatically delete phone quotes after a set number of days. Let's now look at repair orders. It is highly recommended that a repair order is created for any vehicle present at your shop. These allow you to easily track the required work and parts you may need to order. Repair orders also provide you with the added benefit of tracking declined services. This valuable information can be used for reporting and allows you to follow up with your customer or use it in future repair orders. In addition, if you are using our writer's DVI suite, you can utilize our smart status workflow to monitor the progress of your repair orders from the time the vehicle is dropped off to finalizing the work needed and receiving payment. To create a new repair order, click on New RO in the top ribbon. Select your customer and vehicle or create new if necessary. Depending on your configuration, you may need to select the Profit Center, Source and Service Writer. If this repair order is for an existing customer, you will then be able to select the work needed from a list of past recommended or declined services. You can then add customer requests and services from the Service Request tab. You can also enter a promise time or specify if the customer is waiting for their vehicle. From here, go to Parts and Labor to start building your repair order. While we recommend starting a repair order any time a vehicle arrives at your shop, an estimate could still be used to start your workflow. An estimate will prompt you for the customer and vehicle information, allowing for a more detailed quote than a phone quote. If you do start with an estimate, you will need to convert it to a repair order before you can electronically order any parts. Remember, to convert all items quoted, even the ones declined. Now that we have reviewed phone quotes, estimates, and repair orders, remember, phone quotes are meant to be quick quotes that do not require customer or vehicle information. Always start a repair order when a customer or vehicle is present in your shop, and if you prefer to start with an estimate, always convert all items quoted, including the ones declined. This ensures you do not lose any valuable information that can help you with future recommendations for your customers.